Hello gun enthusiasts and aficionados. Today we have a special treat. This is a K38 Combat Masterpiece model number 15. This is a real beautiful gun here. Oh man, look at this thing. It's freaking gorgeous. I'm not gonna play with this one because I don't want to put it. I don't want to put a turn line in the cylinder. It is beautiful. This is my most prettiest gun. <laughs> most prettiest gun. Anyway, it's a Model 15. Dash. Model 15 dash three. If you can see that in there. It's in there somewhere. Yeah, this this is a uh, beautiful gun. This used to be called the K38 Combat Masterpiece before they uh, gave their model numbers in 1957. That's when they started giving their model numbers, and this became the Model 15. It was the Combat Masterpiece. This was called the Combat Masterpiece. Imagine, Smith & Wesson called it their Masterpiece. I mean, look at this thing. It's, it's exquisite. I love that big Smith and Wesson insignia on the right on the uh, on the plate there. See how it's got the serrated thick top ridge there and a nice target sights. This is like a model 14 except shorter. Model 14 is six inch it's a target pistol. This is a model 15. This is what the police carried back in the day. Remember that show, One Adam 12? One Adam 12. You see these guys, they're all carrying Model 15. It's got the beautiful case hardened groove trigger. See that? And the nice case hardened hammer with the firing pin on the hammer. Some people say it's better to have it on a frame. It's I kind of tend to agree, but it looks cool on the it looks cool on the hammer, <laughs> but it makes more sense to have it on the frame. Actually, it's just just it's just too fragile there. It's not a firing pin. The official Smith and Wesson term. They got their own terms. The hammer is a little bit wider than the skinny hammer. And the, and, the, and the triggers are just a little bit wider than, it's not a target trigger, but it's, it feels wider. And these grips are nice and square at the bottom. I like to put the rounded edge ones on the uh, snubbies. That's just my preference. But there's not a mark, well, there's one little mark on this gun, but I'm not gonna tell you where it is. But there's, you know, it just doesn't get much better than that. It just doesn't get much better than this. That's why they call it the masterpiece. The masterpiece. You know? I'm not going to play with it too much, but... Uh, Model 15. Okay, the Model 15 in 1957. Before that, it was called the, the K38 Combat Masterpiece.
The Smith & Wesson K38 Combat Masterpiece Revolver is a derivative of the classic 1899 K-frame military and police 38 Smith & Wesson Special. The MMP underwent steady evolution throughout the 20th century and the Smith & Wesson spun off several variations as separate models in the post-war two years. They uh, discontinued these and they brought them back in 2011. The 15 ran from 1949 to 1999, then they were discontinued, and then uh, for, about a, for about a decade. And then in 2011, they were reintroduced, uh, the, the new modern version, the Smith & Wesson Classic Revolver line. They're really nice. They did a good job. But they're not hand-fitted. These old guns are hand-made, hand-fitted. So, a gun that's handmade <laughs> costs a lot more money. So there you have it. Thanks for watching, and take care of your guns, and they'll take care of you.